Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, welcome. It's a big day here at Epifan. Uh, we want to give you a first look at what's next for us. Uh, as a company, we've seen our solutions used in diverse environments, in corporate offices, lecture halls, live event spaces of every size, houses of worship, in hospitals, on boats, planes, underwater, even outer space. Whatever the environment or application, our goal is always the same, to make the process of streaming, recording, or capturing video as simple and as seamless as possible with rock solid gear you can count on. Our Pearl family of products embodies these principles. It starts with a Swiss Army knife approach to AV hardware. Pearl systems combine what normally would be multiple pieces of gear into a single device which streamlines setup and production considerably. We released our first Pearl back in 2014. The response to this innovative system was tremendous. Customers loved Pearl's ease of use, multiple video and audio inputs, and the convenience of the built-in touchscreen. But customers also suggested ways we could make Pearl even better. So in 2016, we unveiled Pearl 2 as the ultimate all-in-one production system with 4K encoding, more HDMI and SDI ports, and more processing power for a greater number of encoding channels. Pearl 2 remains our flagship product, but we still wanted to offer another choice for those with less intensive applications. And that was the thinking behind Pearl Mini, which we introduced in 2018 as a more portable video production system with a giant touchscreen to maximize the ease of use. Today, Pearl systems are used across a broad range of applications, which has been really exciting. So the question is, what's next for the Pearl family? Well, that's today. Meet Pearl Nano. We designed Pearl Nano to be your perfect fit streamer and recorder. So what do I mean by that? Well, Nano offers a refined feature set in a compact form factor, as you can see here, and these qualities make Nano a perfect fit for applications where Pearl 2 or Pearl Mini might be overkill. Now let's dive into some of the features of this small but mighty encoder. Pearl Nano is what we would call a single channel encoder, meaning that Nano can stream and record one video program at a time. However, something that sets Nano apart from many other single channel encoders is its powerful custom layout builder. With it, you can easily combine video sources to create a beautiful layout for your event. We'll get more into that a little later. Pearl Nano is built on the same design principles as our other Pearl systems. Ease of use, versatility, and professional quality. The ease of use comes through in Nano's convenient front screen and intuitive user interfaces as well. Versatility is clear from the multiple inputs and applications that Nano supports. Pearl is really flexible and adapts to pretty much whatever you can throw at it. You can feel the professional quality in Nano's rugged enclosure, and those experiences through the purpose-built software that powers the system. So you can think of Nano as a younger sibling of the Pearl 2 and Pearl Mini, but at the same time as a newer hardware platform, Nano will support some advanced features these other systems don't. Now, not all will be available at launch, but we do have some big plans for this little box. So stay tuned for updates later this year. All right, now I'm gonna bring in Greg Quirk to tell you more about this new device. Greg is one of our product managers here at Epifan, and he's put a lot of thought and care into getting Pearl Nano to market. Hey Greg, welcome. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about this exciting new product? Thanks, George. You know, I'd be happy to. Over the years, we've gotten a lot of feedback from Pearl customers. As all-in-one video production systems, Pearl 2 and Pearl Mini offer a ton of value. But sometimes, customers are looking for that just right encoder. We looked at solutions in the industry and realized that there was a gap, both in terms of the latest standards, but also getting immediate feedback on what was being streamed. We've added the standards that we've implemented on our other Pearl products, and we have a front screen for monitoring and control, which you don't find on many encoders in the industry. For live events, you've only got one chance to get the content to your audience. 
So having that screen so that you know what's being streamed and getting information in case something goes wrong is so much more powerful than a blinky light that you may not even notice. We're really excited to see how our customers are going to use the Nano, and I've already talked to some of them. For smaller scale live events, you might not need all the inputs that you find on a Pearl 2 or a Pearl Mini. So a pretty typical live event setup might include a camera along with professional XLR audio inputs that we offer, and then have slides coming in over HDMI. The nice thing is that you can create a powerful layout so that the creative director can make the stream look exactly the way they want. But then you have the HDMI pass through so the slides can be shown on in-room monitors with no latency. Or maybe you do need more inputs than the Nano offers and you have a full production switcher to manage all of that. But in many cases, those switchers don't have a way to stream the content to a CDN. With Nano, you can take an output from the switcher and then get the program to your audience over the internet. You may be able to record on the switcher, but you can also record on the Nano to make sure that you have a copy of the event for post-production purposes. You can either record it on the SD card, or if you need more storage, you can add an M.2 SSD in the expansion bay. When talking about the latest standards, one of the new things that we've added to our Perl family was SRT, or Secure Reliable Transport. And that's been a really big selling point for companies looking to bring in contribution feeds from remote guests. As there are fewer inputs to worry about, non-technical users can set it up quickly and easily to provide better video and audio than you would get over some of the conferencing systems that are out there. Yeah, that's amazing, Greg. Speaking of SRT, and lots of people have been talking to us about SRT, but that ties into how you're joining us today, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm actually joining the event over SRT. So I've got a video source, I've got an audio source, and, and that's it. As an SRT encoder and decoder as well, Nano is an ideal fit for an application like this. A lot of customers are using our Pearl Minis for this type of application, but once Nano is released, many are expecting it to be that perfect fit device as it's a little bit smaller and lighter, so it ships easier. Greg, thank you for walking us through those applications. You hit on some pretty exciting stuff there, so thank you for joining us. Thanks for bringing me on. So, those are some of the major applications we see for Perl Nano. Now, let's take a cl closer look at the unit itself. So, here's the screen, right on the front of it. Along with these buttons, you can use the screen for basic configuration and control. There's also buttons for convenient one-touch streaming and recording. The front screen also acts as a confidence monitor for your video and audio sources during streaming or recording. Anyone who's produced a live event will know the value of a feature like this. With other hardware encoders, you often press a button to start the stream and hope for the best. And that's not so with Nano. Nano's front screen lets you verify the video and audio sources at a glance to ensure production is going smoothly. And we all know, when it comes to live video, there's no do-overs. So having a front screen for quick verification that everything's okay can make all the difference. Also on the front of Nano is the SD card slot for storage, much like you would find on the Pearl Mini. But what about the back of the unit? So here you can see there's one input for HDMI, as Greg mentioned, and an output for HDMI pass-through. There's also an HDMI program out and an input for SDI and two line-level XLR inputs for professional audio equipment. RCA audio is also an option. There's an Ethernet port here for network connectivity, and Nano also supports Power over Ethernet Plus in addition to DC power, which means you can power this device using only an Ethernet cable. Now, PoE Plus is not something you find on many other encoders, but it can really help streamline your production setup. One less cable may not sound like a big deal, but I can tell you from experience, it really does make a difference, especially if your AV setup is more complex. You can use the USB port that's on the back for file transfer to connected USB drive, but Nano can also transfer files to a local server or network attached storage device. And of course, if you're looking for even more local storage, you can add an M.2 SSD to Nano's expansion bay. 
And this is the first product we've designed that offers this kind of flexibility for storage. So that's the unit itself. Let's talk a little bit about how you might set it up. In addition to the front screen UI, you can access the admin UI through your browser or through Nano's local console. This is where you'll find all of the system's features for setting up streaming and recording or anything else. The admin UI also allows you to control your Nano from any computer connected to your network. Like Perl 2 and Perl Mini, Nano supports a wide range of streaming protocols. From modern ones like SRT, HLS, and MPEG Dash, to more traditional ones like RTMP and RTMPS. The admin UI is also where you'll find the custom layout builder I mentioned earlier. So Nano's layout builder makes it easy to put together a professional quality layout for your event. You can create everything from a simple picture-in-picture -picture layout to something more elaborate with backgrounds, text overlays, and other graphics. So the other thing important here is let's talk about integrations. Like Perl 2 and Perl Mini, Nano features the deepest Panopto and Kaltura integration that you'll find on a hardware encoder. It's easy to sync your Panopto or Kaltura account to Nano and set up scheduled or ad hoc recordings. Customers love the front screen for this. and It's really convenient to be able to start and stop videos right from the device. Now, something that's going to appeal to any of the IT pros out there, Perl Nano is really IT friendly. You can easily add the device to any network with DHCP or static IP addresses and prevent unauthorized access with a suite of advanced security features, including LDAP integration, 8021X, and SSL. Nano will also work with Epifan Cloud, our centralized platform for configuration and monitoring of your Epifan devices. This offers huge advantages for anyone with multiple devices in the field, such as schools with units spread out across multiple campuses. Being able to access, update, and see key statistics for all your devices at a glance is a real time saver. It also allows you to access your Nano from anywhere in the world. So there it is, your first look at the new Pearl Nano. Now, of course, I'm sure there are a couple of questions that are on your mind. What will it cost and when can I get one? So here's the pricing in US dollars and in euros. And we're expecting to start taking orders for Nano soon with shipping by the end of the year. Of course, check out the Pearl Nano product page at epifan.com for more details and keep an eye on our website for the latest news on Pearl Nano. So, there you have it folks, Pearl Nano, your perfect fit streamer and recorder for small scale events, remote contribution, and more. With a custom layout builder, built-in screen, professional video and audio inputs, PoE+, and even more. There's a lot of power in this little device. We hope that you're as excited as we are about the new Pearl Nano. Thank you for watching.